Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Show now here. About to give you another Clash Royale video. In this video, we talk about Sparky and the legendary troop, which can be a major pain in the ass if not dealt with properly. Now, an unprotected Sparky obviously can't really do much if you have stuff like freeze and then throw like archers and other garbage in it. But if you have stuff padding the Sparky, it's pretty much lights out. Like, it, say, for example, if somebody places a mini P.E.K.K.A. along with a Sparky, or even some barbs, a Valkyrie is probably really good. You can do a lot of damage with a Sparky. So we're going to go into this replay. Obviously, you guys saw the result of it, but we want to show you guys how we actually dealt with Sparky. So like usual, we wait till 10 Elixir as we throw out our P.E.K.K.A. In this game, I think he throws his out first. So there's the P.E.K.K.A. And he places a Sparky, and right away my reaction is like, holy shit, what the hell do I do against it? So, because the Sparky is kind of slow like a P.E.K.K.A., you do have a little bit of time to react to it. And here he throws a Wizard alongside of the Sparky. Now, this is good against smaller troops. Also, places a Valkyrie. Now, of course, if you have a free spell, you can deal with that Sparky pretty much for free by just pinging it with Archers. And the Valkyrie pretty much gets taken out there. So, down that goes. So now we have a Desperation Bomb there. Now what that does is distracts the Sparky away so it can't hit your tower. And as you see, we snuck away and got the first crown because he did not defend. So that Witch too little too late. We are going to get a couple hits on the tower. It really doesn't matter. I really wish it would have hit the Witch instead. So now our best defense here is, of course, another P.E.K.K.A. Skeleton's pretty irrelevant until it gets to the Witch. So here he throws out the Lose Hard Giant Skeleton. And Lose Hard meaning you throw a mini P.E.K.K.A. behind it. It doesn't do much damage to the P.E.K.K.A. and the giant skeleton gets killed for free. Here the P.E.K.K.A. kills it for free. It's a hit on the wizard, and that's pretty much all she wrote there. Now what we gotta do is we gotta throw out something to pad the P.E.K.K.A. so it doesn't get distracted by one drop skeletons. So we have a wizard for that. And sure enough, it deals with the skeletons, throws a cannon out, desperate cannon there. We freeze to take damage off the P.E.K.K.A. Valkyrie comes in. And the Valkyrie does deal with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizard, throwing them between it. The Valkyrie really doesn't have much health here, so we can kind of play defensively here. So here we're going to place the Archers, and we're going to place a P.E.K.K.A. in the front. He places the Giant Skeleton, goes away from the defensive side. Maybe we can throw our P.E.K.K.A. out now. So he's got the Wizard... He place it, places a witch in the back. Again, it goes to the wrong side of the tower. Meaning it's not even going to affect it. Here he throws a cannon again to try to distract. He got a mini P.E.K.K.A. out. And we freeze all that garbage. Throws a Valkyrie. But the Valkyrie gets dealt with by the mini P.E.K.K.A. The mini P.E.K.K.A. goes towards the tower. And we just ignore everything. At this point, easy three crown, no chance. And kiss your bombs goodbye. Get the hell out of here. So as you see, Sparky can be dealt with. Let's see if we can find the replay where we just got destroyed by Sparky. So we have had some losses, of course. It is a little bit harder in Arena 7. And... No, we have the match against Sailor. Okay, 2-0. This is the dominance that the Sparky can have, especially if you throw Giants and Balloons. This actually does work pretty well. We were able to starve off the 3 crown, but... Yeah. It was not fun. So here he places a giant on the left. And really smart tactic there. You place a Sparky behind it. How in the world does a Sparky deal with a giant? Well, it really doesn't. You basically have to play nothing until the Sparky crosses the river. And then have your freeze and barb ready. It's really the only thing you can deal with. Here you place the wizard to deal with the the Pekka, and the Sparky just obliterates it. So the Bomber gets a couple hits in and then deals with Sparky. Before it charges up, you can also distract it away. Here we freeze and get rid of the Sparky, and here we're in super panic mode because we have no idea. And now he places a balloon after we used our freeze. We have some archers to deal with that. The barbs are going to slaughter those archers. And we obviously have nothing to deal with the barbs. So we're going to take some serious damage on this tower here. We can place our own barbs, but I feel it's a little bit late here, and I think we do so just to stop the crowd. 
And of course, the easy counter to that is the wizard. So here we just kind of got really thrown off by that giant Sparky. That was amazing tech there. Pretty hard to deal with. So we throw our pack out to avoid getting crowned. Now with the giant being five elixir and the Sparky six elixir, you can kind of put them both together and it's just gonna rain hell. I think the giant does work extremely well with the Sparky because Sparky's just there to obliterate stuff. I don't know if the Sparky can actually hit air troops if it can't. And that, of course, was a little bit late. We were hoping that the mini pecker would take out the giant and hit the Sparky, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. Arrows does get the first crown. So he places a balloon on the left, and we place our archers to deal with that. Now he's trying to go in three crown modes. So there's the bomber, and the Sparky just obliterates those barbs that get thrown on it. That's really bad. The mini pecker also gets obliterated. So here we have to use a freeze to avoid getting three crown and then throw archers at the Sparky to try to soften it up. So a total three crown mode, I don't know how you deal with Sparky Giant. That seems to be a really good combination. And when you have a balloon that's even more devastating, this guy definitely plays so hard. So he throws bars in, you can tell he's in three crown mode, but Pekka does distract long enough and does take out Sparky. And here we have to basically freeze avoid getting three crown. Now this guy's in total three crown mode, and the fact that he could not three crown us with that combination was actually reason to celebrate by laughing. Now that is just utter dominance on his part, but that's a good way to use the good old Sparky. A giant seems to work extremely well with it. And now we're finally going to show off the fail against State Lover. Now normally I can two or three crown him pretty easily, but... We got a little bit greedy here. We're going to show this replay off for you guys. <laughs> now, State Lover, of course, is the better half son. Who I went to San Diego with. But here we place P.E.K.K.A.s on opposite sides. Now, as you see in my deck, obviously I have the free spell. We have a bomber that we're going to use to try to pad the P.E.K.K.A. Especially if he places barbs along with the defense, and he does, so the P.E.K.K.A. is going to one-shot the barbs. He uses the free spell on the bomber and the P.E.K.K.A. And we're just going to use barbs on the P.E.K.K.A. We have to use our own freeze and deal with the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. might get one hit on the tower. Not likely. Barbs are going to do some work. Baby Dragon doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Archers are going to distract us. The archers do some damage here. We can throw out a mini P.E.K.K.A. Looks like he's going to try to throw his own out. And he doesn't react in time, but we do get a lot of damage in on the tower. So here we really don't have anything to play against the mini P.E.K.K.A. That's unfortunate, so we have to use a wizard. That's pretty bad. You don't want to trade wizard for P.E.K.K.A. That's a one elixir loss, but it does save damage from our tower. So he's basically running the same deck, except he has no wizard, so he's using Freeze with it. I find Freeze to be really good, because if you're making a strong push with, say, a Bomber, Archers, and a P.E.K.K.A., you can use the Freeze to manipulate here. Here we place Barbs on the left. And he places a P.E.K.K.A. on the left. So we throw a Bomber. It looks like he's reinforcing the left side heavily. We place a Bomber on the right. Here he uses his own Bomber. We Freeze the Bomber. That allows us to easily get the first crown. Now the huge mistake we make here is instead of trying to defend the P.E.K.K.A., we actually go on offense mode, and that freeze is clutch. Instead of allowing the P.E.K.K.A. and everything else to get in, at this point it's just too late. Here we try to bar push, again trying to go for three crowns. And uses the baby dragon, so here the barbs and the P.E.K.K.A. is dominating. By then it's too little too late. State lover. Gets the rare three crown against Hollywood Shono. Well played, sir. So that is how you beat Hollywood Shono. Just catch him off guard not playing defense. So if you like this video on how to beat Sparky and how to three crown with Sparky, as well as state lover kicking my ass, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Clash Royale videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!